Hey friends, this is Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. In this video today, I will review the latest product from the famous Autocast company. Now, Autocast is known for making amazing car gadgets and accessories and I've tested so many of their devices. But now, they have launched this 10.3 inch portable multimedia car screen with so many features like uh, wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, mobile screen mirroring, uh, navigation and dual cameras. This screen is ideal for people who don't have a screen in their car or if they have a screen, it's not a multimedia screen with these features. So I can't wait to test this new product from Autocast. But first, let's do the unboxing. All right, friends, so this is all we get inside the box. Uh, you get a user manual, uh, then you get the power adapter. This is a cigarette lighter power adapter with a type C connection that goes into the screen here. You also get a 2K full HD rear view camera. And again, this one also has a very long harness cable. All right, now let's have a closer look at the screen. Now this is a 10.3 inch screen. Um, and I really like this uh, shape of the screen. I don't like the ones which are squarish design. Um, it's got a screen protector on it already. So that's quite nice. Uh, it's not very heavy. It already has this dashboard mount attached with this sticking pad so you can stick it on your dashboard. And now looking at the connections, you've got uh, the first connection is for the aux cable for audio. Uh, then you've got the SD memory card. You need to insert this uh, in order to record any footage that you want from the front or the back camera. Then you've got the rear view camera input. Now this is where you connect the rear view camera cable. And then finally you have the type C for power. You also have a reset button at the back. And looking at the top, you've got the power button. You also have this built-in speaker. So if you don't want to connect this with your car, you can you know, certainly use the built-in speakers. But I would suggest you connect the audio uh, to the system of the car for um, better output. Now looking at the back, you've got this 4K front camera and this is an adjustable camera so you can adjust it the way you want it. Alright guys, so let me take this out to my car, uh, install it, set it up and then we start testing the different functions and features of this Autocast 10.3 inch portable car screen. Keep watching guys. Alright friends, so uh, we are in the car and I've put this on the dashboard. Uh, I haven't connected the wires yet, uh, but the installation is very easy and straightforward. Um, what I will do now is switch on this device and we'll see how much time does it take to start. Alright, so I've connected. So that's instant. Uh, so this is the intro video of the picture. Um, so around seven seconds i would say seven to ten seconds which is definitely very fast this is a standard layout um, now as i said earlier i've already connected the wire to the cigarette lighter i haven't installed it but that is a very easy process you can do it yourself or you can take it to any of the car accessories shop and they'll do it for you uh, i've also inserted a sd memory card into this so that we get some uh, footage recorded uh, from the front camera uh, and okay. I'll show you how to do that uh, later on. Now the other nice feature in this uh, uh, screen is voice command. So as soon as I said front camera, the screen actually moved to the front camera. So that's a very nice thing to have. So front camera. Okay. There you go. So as I said, this is the main home page. So what we will do in this video is uh, start testing uh, the different functions of uh, this portable screen. Now, one thing I have not attached is the rear view camera because my car already has it. Uh, I really like this layout, uh, to be honest. So on the left side, you've got time, date, you've got the home button, brightness, volume, and then the settings. And then on the main area, you've got these five big icons. So phone link is for uh, the Android uh, Auto or the CarPlay 
display uh, system or you can also use this for uh, mobile screen mirroring and I'll show you how to do that later on. Then you've got the Bluetooth so you can connect your mobile with the, the device uh, to uh, make phone calls or to listen to your music. Uh, then the VR is obviously the camera. Uh, playback is uh, you can go and playback any of the recorded footage from uh, both the cameras and then finally you've got the FM transmitter. So the FM transmitter is actually used to uh, link the audio from the device uh, to the sound system of the car and I'll show you how to do that later on. All right guys so this is the main layout uh, now let's start testing the different functions and features. Volume. So let's click on settings. All right so within settings you've got the record resolution so you can play around with this uh, and then you've got the time so you can set up a certain time of the recorded uh, files. Uh, image mirroring uh, if you want to uh, uh, mirror or flip the image you've got a screen saver then you've got a voice command as I said and within voice command you've got some pre so you've got uh, show front camera turn on display turn off display show all cameras uh, you can only use these uh, video command uh, voice commands then you've got uh, the driving position so left hand or right hand drive uh, reverse line calibration this is uh, very useful once you have the the camera installed um, now then go back to the language date and time you can format the SD card factory reset and software update so very straightforward uh, lots of nice uh, uh, options in the settings area now let's go back um, now we click on DVR we see uh, the front camera and uh, once you've uh, installed the rear view camera you have an option of actually clicking this to get side by side view of both the cameras so front and rear uh, but it's very standard as you can see this is a front camera which is uh, okay. a, a 4k camera and uh, you can see the clarity is very nice and crisp in fact this is what I'm getting from this uh, camera uh, what I'll do is I'll take out the SD card and show you the actual footage that we're getting on the file on the video file there you go so as you can see it's so nice and crisp uh, very nice colors brightness um, and it's very clear you can uh, easily make out the the number plates on the different cars all right so then you can click on this playback uh, and you can see some of the recorded footage so you click on one of these and then we can play and see it's the voice is also recorded you can hear me so very nice uh, option here let's go back and then we have the FM transmitter now let's connect the FM transmitter audio all right so the FM transmitter basically connects the device the portable screen with the sound system of your car and it's a very simple process and you've got all the instructions mentioned on the right side here so the first step is actually to match a frequency of this screen here with the car's frequency so basically go to the radio of your car and I'm, I'm doing that right now and then uh, I just need to make sure that I find a empty slot or an empty frequency okay so I've set this up to 106.10 on my car now let's do the same here and then okay so FM transmitter has been turned on successfully so now whatever we play on this uh, portable screen the audio of that would be then come out of the audio system of the car or the sound system of the car so it's a very easy simple process uh, in fact if you don't want to do that you can also connect the aux cable um, now let's come back as you can see now that this click sound is coming out of the system of the car so transmitter then playback DVR now what we can do is actually start testing some of the very interesting features of this device which is in the phone link section now you've got Apple CarPlay you've got Android Auto you've got Apple AirPlay which is a screen mirroring you've got Android Casting which is screen mirroring for the Android mobiles and then you've got the Bluetooth music so I've got my iPhone right here uh, I will also test a few things on the Android but first let's start uh, testing the Apple CarPlay one so you've got all the instructions clearly mentioned here now this is an interesting option here it says full screen mode basically if you if you click on the full screen mode you will get Apple CarPlay on the full screen 
but if you do a half screen mode then you can get apple carplay on the left side of the screen and the camera on the uh, on the right side of the screen I'll, I'll show you how to do that basically the the steps are very very easy and the steps are the same for both the iphones and uh, android mobiles you simply need to go to your bluetooth and in the bluetooth you'll find a device called t86188 once you find that click on that device uh, then pair the device allow it to sync favorites and contacts and then finally click on the use carplay option there you go that's it so this is a one-time setup you just need to make this connection with the screen once and then every time you switch on the car it will directly take you to the home page of apple carplay so what we've got here is a half screen or a split screen view so you've got apple carplay menu appearing on the left side and the front camera on the right side all right so now in order to get the full screen view of apple carplay we just need to click on this full screen mode before we actually connect through bluetooth so let's connect that confirm full screen view yep so once it is done then you go to the bluetooth um, and then start connecting with this device t86 click on that uh, pair the device uh, same process again use carplay and then now you will get apple carplay in full screen mode there you go so very nice simple uh, and one thing i must say that the, the clarity of the screen is very very good i'm not sure if the camera is doing justice in capturing the real quality and the clarity and the brightness of the screen but i can tell you it's extremely bright and nice and as i said earlier i really like these horizontal kind of uh, screens i hate the squarish ones because uh, this looks quite nice uh, now this is the standard home page of apple carplay now i will not explain the functions and features of apple carplay and how to use that if you want to know more about it you can go and watch my other videos where i've kind of this explained in detail different things about apple carplay and android auto but what we can do here is just uh, test a few uh, features of uh, apple carplay just to see if the voice is working or the navigation is working um so hey siri take me to dubai expo uh -huh. uh, but as you can see uh, siri is working on this um navigation is also working now this is apple carplay so all the functions and features of apple carplay would obviously work but i just wanted to show you how this is uh, working the the good thing is siri is working and the navigation is working hey siri Play some music. Shuffling all songs from Apple Music. All right, so uh, Siri working with music as well. All right, so now let me show you how to uh, get your mobile or iPhone mirrored on this screen. Basically, we need to click on Apple AirPlay. Confirm switching. We just need to make sure that we open Wi-Fi and connect to car link. And then we've got the, the password of, of that. Okay, so once the Wi-Fi is connected, then we just need to drop down from the top, click screen mirroring, select smart screen, click on that. And then in a few seconds, you'll see that the screen of the mobile is mirrored on the portable screen there. So very, very nice option and uh, you can see it's so nice uh, one thing i really love about this uh, screen mirroring uh, is that uh, there isn't any lag this is synced uh, nicely all right now let me try to play a video on uh, youtube all right so youtube is working nicely as you can see the colors are nice uh, you don't get a full screen because of how the video is as you can see there are the black frames on the side of the video So that's why you don't get a full screen But as you can see it is mirroring nicely There is absolutely no lag And the quality of the screen as I said before is amazing. It is very very nice so one thing I would like to test on this portable screen, uh, something that I do um, test on uh, all the different devices I review on my channel, is to see when we switch on the car, uh, does it directly connect to uh, Apple CarPlay and take us to this home page? And how much time uh, does the device take to get to the main home page of Apple CarPlay? All right, so let's do that test now. I've got my stopwatch ready here. Uh, what I'll do now is unplug the device. 
all right and now plug it back in and uh, obviously start the timer all right so about 35 to 36 seconds uh, which is uh, not bad uh, all right so uh, we can mirror our, the mobile screen of our iphone uh, you can do the same with the android mobiles as well i won't do that uh, in this video but the process is very simple and straightforward just need to get the tc link app click uh, wi-fi direct and uh, uh, connect to the car link 188 the same way we did for uh, apple iphones all right so now let's try to connect to uh, wireless android auto so we click on this Android Auto um, option here, confirm the switch and then just follow the instructions. Now the steps are exactly the same as the Apple CarPlay. Uh, we need to go to our Android mobile, switch on Bluetooth uh, and then scan for this device uh, as T86188. There you go. So T86188, click on that, pair this device with the phone and, uh, and that's it so very easy again this is a one-time setup you just need to make uh, this connection once and then every time you switch on the car it takes you directly to the home page of android auto there you go so very nice and quick um, it's quite fast um, and this is the home page of uh, android auto this is a new cool walk version so this is the landing page where you see the map and the media playing on the right side you've got uh, some of the apps uh, shortcut on the left side you've got voice input as well the way we've used uh, siri on iphone we can also use uh, voice assistant on the android auto these dots right at the bottom left you click on that and you get to see the full view all the apps that are available on android auto these are the ones that are installed on your mobile and also the ones that are compatible with android auto there are some apps uh, like youtube uh, netflix instagram tiktok all those apps are not compatible with android auto or apple carplay and those would not appear on the screen here so you have all the stuff like uh, making uh, calls listening to music navigation um, you've got settings where you can change the look and feel you can add a wallpaper change the icon and all that so that's it guys so this was a very quick review of this autocast 10.3 inch portable smart car screen uh, I'm extremely impressed with it uh, to be honest uh, I've been using it since yesterday um, the first thing I love about it is the screen uh, one the size of the screen is very nice the layout is quite nice but the clarity and the brightness the colors are amazing uh, the other good thing about this is uh, the the 4k front camera uh, really nice and crisp uh, and we saw the footage that we recorded very nice and clear uh, and one really good thing is the screen mirroring uh, especially without lag that is such an amazing feature of this device so if you're interested if you want to buy this just go to the link in the description of this video that takes you directly to the auto cast official store where you can buy this 10.3 inch portable car screen that's it guys thanks for watching the video